Hello everybody, and welcome to FSpy Importer for Maya. In this breezy lesson, we will learn to install FSpy Importer for Maya. FSpy is a standalone camera matching application, and you can use it to camera match, that's match your camera in 3D. I built this plugin to import an FSpy project into Maya. And here you can see it's installed and ready to load. Let's get started, but first, Suppose you marry a widow, who already has a grown-up daughter, and your father marries the widow's grown-up daughter. Now the widow's daughter becomes your mother. Since your mother's mother is your wife, your wife is also your grandmother. As the husband of your grandmother, you become your own grandpa. Wait, that's illegal. Okay, let's get started. Open the fspyimporter.zip file, take those files and drop them into your Maya slash plugins folder, like I have done here so. And here I'm going to check load and auto load. The importer allows you to import the background image and also allows you to import using the file browser. Okay, next fspy. FSpy, I am here on the website, fspy.io. There are many tutorials online for FSpy. Okay, here I have opened up FSpy and I can drag an image. So here I'm going to use this first image. It's just a 16 by nine still image. I get the axis alignment tools. Here I can dim the image, or in this case, I don't want it. And what we'll mainly take a look at here is the vanishing point axes. And then we'll take a look at some of the parameters here on the side, as well as the focal length. We want to always pay attention to the focal length and the image sensor proportions. In this case, we have a mismatch, which is what we're going to pay attention to when exporting and importing. So let's quickly drag these points. We can hold shift for better alignment. In this case, I'll just define the X and then let's do a Y. Great, we can also grab the axis. But what I want to do is I want to make an XZ plane. And here I can define the axis a little differently and say, okay, there's also some distortion in the image, but we're not going to deal with that. Now I can do file, save. I'm just going to save it here on my desktop and I'm going to call this by one. Okay, now if we go here to the focal length and check, we can see here that our image sensor proportions are mismatched. That's because our image width up here is 1920 by 1080. I purposely showed this example because we're going to have to make a custom camera. Now I know the dimensions of my sensor camera and so I put them in here. Okay, now the message has disappeared. I can go to file and save. So now let's import our project. We can click import. We can search for specifically FSpy project files. I will click on the file and open. And you see we get the FSpy camera imported and we also activate our view. I can also import the background image. By hitting reload, it'll just update with the background image imported. That works good for me. I just want a quick camera. My frame is aligned in the 1920 by 1080 and my camera settings already here with the image plane. If I don't want to import the background, I can hit reload again and you can see the image plane disappeared. It also automatically reloads when I open up the same file. Okay, let's try to put in a cube. We can just do a polygon cube and I can put this on zero, zero. Now this box is currently on the table. As you can see, it matches good with the perspective. Okay, I refreshed the scene and I checked import background image. Let's do another one. And then we can drag in our second image. Turn off dim. Now actually here, this image is 4,000 by 3,000. So the focal length is going to be a little different. Again, go to my vanishing point, hit X, Z, just to make quick. Now here I have my axis again. Let's say I want it over here in this corner, or maybe even down here on the ground. 
Now, 4,000 divided by 3,000 is how much? 4,000 divided by 3,000 is 1.333. Same if we look down here at the focal length sensor. 36 divided by 24 is 1.5, and not 1.333. And I know that this number happens to be 32. And now the message goes away, I can hit save, and now I'll call this fspy2. Great. Now let's go back into Maya and hit import. Here we have the two. The file size is a little larger because it stores the image inside of the fspy project. You see here it loads. It looks really, really good. We can see the full image is 4000 by 3000. It is set here in the render settings. I made sure the script sets it in the render settings correctly. Also here in the camera, you can double check that it is 1.33 and your camera aperture settings transferred over as well as the focal length 24 and we can see it down here 24.672 24.672 so things match up very good i can even import another fspy project here you can have two just make sure you know which one you're looking through here let's start a new one come here let's grab a third image and i'll drop it here on the fspy application okay here i'm going to have the zy axis and i can start to place my markers actually here i'm going to dim the image just a little bit so i can get the markers just right okay i can hit file save as fspy3 i can check here my focal length and we do have to turn this back to 32. Now what's really handy about this is I did this on purpose to show you how fast we can quickly change some of the uh, orientations. And then we can go negative Z and we hit save. Just a quick reload and see now that our axis is now more in aligned with our television. But what if we wanted the axis on the floor? We can say we wanted X we can say negative y and then we can move our axis down here to the ground if the reload does not work just delete your project and re-import how about this table over here also sometimes if you click reload the image goes away just click on the image plane 